Okay, uh, let me get started here. I am um, really proud to be here, and I want to especially welcome Mark and Shelley Ryder, Heath's uh, parents. Uh, but I'm proud to sign this bill into law. It's going to strengthen Pennsylvania's child endangerment laws and protect our children from abuse and mistreatment. House Bill 217 was passed unanimously by both the House and the Senate. Uh, and there's really, I think, it was a recognition that there's no more important job that we can do here than to make sure that we're protecting our children. We're pre protecting them from abuse, from mistreatment, and to ensure that, that everybody uh, who endangers our children gets the full punishment to the fullest extent of the law. And this bill allows courts, when punishing a perpetrator of this heinous crime, to take into account the age of the child who is put into danger as well as the degree of harm. That change uh, helps us more accurately reflect the reality of the situation when deciding how we're going to bring justice to those who harm Pennsylvania's children. And it's going to strengthen our, our child endangerment laws. The greatest resource we have here in Pennsylvania is our children. And we need to make sure that as they grow up, they have the ability to do all the things children do, to strive, to learn, to socialize and become ultimately productive members of our society and our economy. We all need them to get to that point. Harm, neglect, mistreatment inflicted at a young age has a ripple effect through life. A child who's mistreated is lucky enough, if that child's lucky enough to escape uh, to, to adulthood, uh, they, st they still uh, face all kinds of problems throughout their lives. Those effects can impact their ability to get a job, to succeed at it once they get a job, to build meaningful relationships throughout lives, become contributing members of our communities and our economy. Not to mention the child endangerment, as we know, and as the writers know to their great sadness, can often have fatal results. We all know the tragic story that has led us to this point today and to take a hard look at the laws and make this change. Mark and Shelley have lived through something that no parent should ever have to endure. Though this can never fix, and what we're doing today can never fix what happened to them, this bill will make it so that anyone who endangers a child in the state of Pennsylvania faces a punishment that fits the horrible crime they have committed. This bill, once it is law, will make sure that no longer can guardians we trust to safeguard our children get away with or get off easy for harming or neglecting them. So I'm proud to sign this bill today, and I want to thank Representative Ron Kaufman for his hard work. I'm going to ask him to say a few words, and I want to just also say uh, a, a word for Mark Fogel, the District Attorney for Franklin County, for, for being here, for all the work that he did to help us get to this point. So let me turn this over to Representative Kaufman. Good morning. Um, thank you, Governor Wolf. We appreciate uh, this event today and the swiftness with which you're uh, signing this legislation. I have to recognize um, the Ryder family, um, Mark and, and Shelley and Grandma Deb and brother Aiden. And uh, we are glad you're here today. And Matt Fogel, <clears throat> if it weren't for him, this would not be, have come to fruition. Uh, Matt, as he was prosecuting this case and ran against serious roadblocks, he came in with, with Mark one day and we sat down and we chatted about how we make sure that, that no family in the future experiences um, injustice in the face of tragedy. And so with working with, with District Attorney Fogel and the Pennsylvania District Attorneys Association, we came up with legislation. It's hard in Harrisburg to come up with legislation that everyone agrees with. Uh, you, those of you in the press rec recognize and the governor recognizes how difficult that is. And, um, but we, we came to that, uh, that point where we, we found legislation that, that could go swiftly and it, it took a couple of sessions to get there. But uh, in, in my career, this, this will be um, really one of the greatest accomplishments that I've been able to work on um, to make sure that Heath is remembered. 
That's what this legislation here today is, to make sure that his memory lives on in what I believe is going to be Act 12 of uh, 2017, and that in his memory, um, boys and girls across Pennsylvania uh, will not, uh, hopefully not see this kind of treatment, but will always see justice. And so thank you very much, Governor Wolf. I can't thank you enough for, um, for this, this event today and bringing this to, uh, to, a, to a conclusion with the, the signing of this act. Okay, thank you. Uh, the representative and anybody will take questions on topic. Uh, if you have any questions right now, I'll, I'll do a gaggle off uh, uh, to the side afterwards. Any questions on this bill? Okay, then let me sign it. I'm going to have representative on one side and Heath's brother, Aiden, on the other side. And Thanks a lot.